CSD. It is me, Davis McClure, and I'm going to be anchoring the CSD news today. As you may know, last Friday, the state's goal to end the quarantine started stage one, which uh, fully opens up some of the essential businesses that were closed and opens up non-essential businesses that were closed, but like minimally. Two to three weeks is when the state is planning to go to stage two of the plan which will open up businesses more and stage three will open them up fully. Up next we have Cooper with a human story. That was great. Next, we have Jackson talking about his puppy. One day, not that long ago, I was sitting at home when I went on Schoology. An alert popped onto my home screen that told me about an interesting project idea created by our teacher, telling us to tell a story about how life is different in quarantine. So, I started to think, how is life different? A lot came into my head. But they were all just too boring. Like, no more golfing for our team, no more hanging out with friends, but just it was all just way too boring then it hit me i got a new puppy also a little boring but cuteness always sells so on february 17th brooks was born and just eight short weeks later me and my neighbor christy drove an hour to cherryville to pick up our little mini australian shepherd and the minute we got him he made our house into his home he instantly fell in love with our other dog maggie which we were scared wouldn't happen because maggie does not always like other dogs they instantly fell in love and they play every single day all day our entire family loves Brooks, and we are looking forward to a very bright, bright future with him. Aw, isn't it cute? Brooks is now 10 pounds and double the size as he was when they got him. He is now almost the same size as their dog Maggie. Brooks has learned how to sit and is starting to learn how to shake. Up next we have me and Nikki doing reviews of video games like we did last week. We're back! It's time for some more reviews of our favorite games we've been playing during quarantine. The game I will be reviewing this time is Overcooked 2. Overcooked is a nice cooking game to play with your friends. It's super relaxing and features a multitude of different themes and a bunch of wacky chefs. Just kidding! This game is unbelievably hectic! You'll need cooperation levels that put Portal 2 to shame. Throw ingredients into pots, throw ingredients amidst the pot, fall to your doom, and after all of that, only get one star. Okay, Nikki, you just breathe it. In. You move through levels one at a time, earning stars which you need to access the levels further on. If you complete a secret objective in a specific level, you can unlock a secret level. These are very challenging and may take you a few tries to not improve at all. I really suggest not playing this game by yourself, it's much more fun to blame other people for your mistakes. This game teaches you a new recipe in a fairly simple level and builds on it in ones to come. It's a great way of teaching you without you even knowing it. Overall, I give burnt food a 10 out of 10. There are no bugs. Hello, it is me, Davis, and today I will be giving my review of Super Paper Mario. Now, this review is only going to be on the first two chapters of the game. This game is about an evil sorcerer dude named Count Black who tries to make the Chaos Heart to fill the Dark Prognosticus to end all the worlds, all the dimensions and stuff, and the new Mario 
and also his friends that he picks up along the way, like Bowser and Peach, have to try to form the Light Prognosticus to save the world. Yeah, it's as weird as convoluted as it sounds, but it's a fun game full of character. And like, come on, there's a boss named O Chunks, and he flies away when you defeat him, and I think that's a fart. I'm not sure. Anyway, love this game. If you have a Wii, I recommend picking it up and playing it for yourself because it's a modern masterpiece. I mean, a lot of people don't like it because it's part of the Paper Mario series, which is a different style, like an, a turn-based RPG instead of a uh, platformer like this one is. But I still think it's a great game. That was a pretty epic gamer. Now, finally, we have... A seniors flashback congrats segment. Red man, has been really rough, you know. First, I asked the superheroes if they felt he's not around anymore. Play a lot of bingo. The retired superheroes spend their time playing board games. Sir. Going good, nice to meet you. So how do you feel about the Bears off-season is? What is up CSC? This is Connor here. Today I went around the school asking people how their service Fridays are going and what they feel is beneficial. So the following clips are interviews I collected from today. The football team won their homecoming game on Friday against Highland School of Technology. This Friday they play Cherryville at home. The correct answer is Laurel. Thank you for watching the CSD newscast this October and be sure to tune in next time. I'm Josh. This is Sam. Signing off. That was great. Well, thank you for watching CSC News.